Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Hello learners, my name is Stephen Kariongi and we continue with our topic of discussion, classification two. So today we are looking at uh, the last two classes of the phylum Arthropoda, and that is uh, class Arachnida and class Insecta. So we're going to discuss number three, number, no, number four, that is uh, class Arachnida. So far we have discussed three classes within this phylum. Uh, that is class Crustacea, uh, class Chilopoda, and class Diplopoda. So in class uh, Arachnida, we have examples. These ones include spiders, mites, ticks, and the scorpions. So those are the common members of the class Arachnida that we have. In terms of their characteristics, one is that they have two body parts, i.e. cephalothorax and abdomen. So those are the two body parts that are found in the class Arachnida. Number two, the cephalothorax that is mentioned up there is made of head fused with the thorax is made of the head that is fused with the thorax. In terms of the number of legs, they have four pairs. of walking legs and the other characteristic is that they have no antennae no antennae but have short pedipalps for sensitivity and we can say that uh, in some cases the pedipalps are modified for shaking of sperms. E.g. in mites. Number five. is that at the ventral side, at the ventral side of cephalothorax, are chelicerae, chelicerae which are the claw-like structures that are modified 
into uh, poison releasing structures which release poison to their preys that is a uh, basically about the class arachnida we have said that they have two body parts that is cephalothorax and abdomen the cephalothorax is made of the head that is fused with the thorax the head and the thorax they are fused together uh, they have four pairs of walking legs and uh, those walking legs that are that are claw like at the tip that are claw like at the tip of course for grasping uh, they are prey uh, they have no antennae but they have short pedipalps for sensitivity and in some cases those pedipalps are modified for shedding of sperms especially in mites number five at the ventral side of the cephalothorax are chelicerae which release poison to paralyze or to to their prey to paralyze their prey Gaseous exchange is through lung books. While others have gill books. While others have gill books and track your system others have gill books and track your system so basically we are saying that uh, gaseous exchange is a combination of lung books gill books and the tracheal system so at that point we'll have a, a short assignment on the class arachnida So the assignment, uh, the first question, uh, draw a well-labeled diagram of a spider showing all the parts that we have uh, mentioned there. Number two, state four unique characteristics of class Arachnida. Select those characteristics that are only unique to this particular class. And then number three, name three different structures used by class arachnida for gaseous exchange we have mentioned about three modes of gaseous exchange so we're going to stop there until next time goodbye <music>